Now I know it really is you, Commander. Please, let me have this honor. Please kill me. You think you're ready? Seems like you're forgetting something important. The rule for when two aces fight. Go on. You know the words to say. <laughs> yes, I do. Before this battle, I'll bet all my stars. As will I. I pledge them all. Every last one. Is a legendary ace, meaning this battle will not end until one of them is the victor and the other lies dead. Well, I'm sure Pudding will be fine. I'm not so sure. Her count, it's much higher than you'd think. She has 32,000. She's gonna outlast Lick. His count is only 5,700. What? Pudding! Lick's been hit! You can relax, he won't lose. <gasps> Unlikely, anyway. His opponent's got quite a fight on her hands. Just think about it. When he and Lieutenant Jail fought, neither one overpowered the other. Somehow, both of them fought on the same level. The Lieutenant's count is more than double what Pudding's is. Seems impossible, but still. How did he do it, then? There's only one way he could have made that work. You know what that is, don't you? There's more to Mr. Pudding. He's hiding his true powers. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> It's true. 
true. What we're seeing now is the ace. And his opponent. These are the people who are referred to as legendary aces. clear intent to kill and I'm the one my life will be taken by your wondrous power dream come true I'm so happy <sighs> Commander, my bullets are relentless and will pursue you until you are found. From Licked, now! What? He'd want you to. He said before that unleashing the power of the Ace would mean that another personality would take over. Take over his body? Yes. Schmerman, a man driven by the intent to kill. Listen, Hina. The lift we know is not here right now. He's been replaced by a monster who will kill anyone who steps into his path, friend or enemy. He'll only stop when he collapses from fatigue. wasn't her either. Another personality had taken control and made her access a greater power. Thankfully, she's finally back to her true self. Where am I? I remembered something Licht once said. There was a girl among the aces who never killed anyone till the end. She was afraid of everything, and she was made to believe she was useless. But somehow she was always the kindest one in the group. <laughs> Bastards. They'll pay for this. They drugged that poor girl. That's how they forced her powers to come out. Then made her fight Licht, so he would turn back into the monster he was. It's their doing. Sonohara. <laughs> Why are you crying? Don't you know we're at war? Sorry, Rito. I guess I... I don't know. Forget it, Four Eyes. Useless as usual. Putting no! Stop! Are you my enemy? What? Yes or no? 
Hold on, that's enough! Are you my enemy too? <clears throat> I kill enemies. I kill enemies. Kill them. Kill the enemies. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Stop it! This isn't the real you! <sighs> Wait! Be careful! Hina! Don't do this! Just be you again! Please, Lick! I see. You are my enemy. <laughs> have always taken from innocent people. It was bound to catch up to us. We've taken so much. But... I just have one request. It's okay if you wait until after I die. Before. <laughs> Lieutenant, you're alive! You. You are my enemy. You're right. Enemies. I must kill the enemies. Try me, Licked. Let's go. you to get out of my way. Hey, look out! <laughs> enough is enough. Iron is my conviction. You slice through it at Hamo. But as of right now, I feel that you have no convictions at all. A blade without conviction. Shut up! Will never defeat my iron! Uh. Enemies! I must kill all enemies! Kill all the enemies! Kill them! 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 Kill them. You idiot! Kill them! Kill them. <laughs> Kill. 
So this is it? Your full power? And you're using it to threaten a subordinate who looks up to you? How can we take you seriously? Being controlled by a so-called other personality. Unable to resist the urge to kill. Can't swing a sword without crying. And that's the best you can do? How dare you? This is war! War doesn't end until enemies die. It's not about an urge. If I kill an enemy, I'm taking that burden onto my own shoulders. I'm sparing them from having to kill. If there are no more enemies left to kill, nobody else will have to become a murderer. If I annihilate all the enemies, I will free my friends. My friends, those kind, precious souls, will never become murderers. I will spare them that pain. That's why I have to do it! No, you don't. I don't have time for excuses. But if what you just said is a true statement of your beliefs, then I will trust in my convictions and treat you with the highest respect. Thank you, Jail. Fight with all you've got. We'll do this right. Take this seriously. Because I am. Awake yet, idiot? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let go, you dummy! Um, excuse me. I wanted to thank you. Once upon a time, there was a tortoise and a hare. One day the hare told the tortoise, You are much too slow. To which the tortoise said, Well, that depends. Why don't we have a race to the top of that mountain and see who can get there faster? And with that, they both headed toward their starting point. Right away, the hare was too fast, and the tortoise was struggling to catch up. Suddenly, a wizard appeared. He had a special message for the tortoise. My blood is overflowing with magic. If you drink it, you will be able to run faster than any hare. The tortoise desperately wanted to catch the hare, so he drank the wizard's blood. <sighs> so what happened after that? Did he start running faster? As soon as the tortoise swallowed the first drop, he felt a surge of energy and dashed off running faster and faster until he caught up to the hare. And then he killed him. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Did it fail? 
There was some unexpected interference. Even Major Sonohara turned back. Please forgive me, sir. I messed up. That's all right. Don't worry about it. There's nowhere to run anyway. I'm a wizard. I'll fix it if I need to. Please, do me a favor and bring my beloved tortoise soon. Absolutely. It won't be long, General Schmerman. Thanks for sitting through all that. We're back to our regular groping schedule next time. Touch, grab, caress, finally! We've brought this show back to what it was meant to be. I'll do my best! <laughs> next episode, up my sleeve. I'll show you what I have hidden up my sleeve.